I'm excited to talk to you about a topic that's often shrouded in mystery and misconceptions. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that often gets whispered about, but rarely discussed openly, masturbation. It's a natural part of human sexuality, yet it comes with a lot of taboos. Let's be real. It's something that most people do at some point in their lives. Whether you're a teenager or an adult, it's a common experience. But there's a lot of misinformation out there leading to unnecessary anxiety and shame. Many people feel isolated or guilty because of the myths they've heard. We're going to tackle the big questions head on. Does it impact fertility, your physical health, your mental well-being? These are important questions that deserve clear, evidence-based answers. We'll separate fact from fiction, bust some myths, and empower you with the knowledge you need to make informed decisions about your body. Understanding the truth can help you feel more confident and less anxious. So, if you've ever wondered about the potential consequences of masturbation, you're in the right place. We're here to provide you with the facts and dispel the myths. Stick around, hit that subscribe button, and let's get right into it. Your journey to understanding starts now. Let's explore this topic together and clear up the confusion once and for all. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, the fear that masturbation could lead to infertility. This is a topic that often comes with a lot of misconceptions and unnecessary anxiety. I've heard this concern from many patients, and I want to be crystal clear. Masturbation, within a healthy frequency, does not cause infertility. It's important to understand that this is a natural activity that many people engage in. Your body is constantly producing sperm, and masturbation doesn't change that. The process of sperm production is ongoing and robust, designed to ensure that sperm is always available. Think of it like this. Your body is a sperm factory that's always operational. Just like a factory that never shuts down, your body keeps producing sperm regardless of whether you masturbate or not. Masturbation is simply a way to release some of that production. It's a natural release mechanism that helps manage the constant production of sperm. Now, if you're concerned about your fertility, it's always a good idea to talk to your doctor. They can provide personalized advice and reassurance based on your individual health. We can run some tests to check your sperm count and overall reproductive health. These tests can give you a clear picture of your fertility status and help address any concerns you might have. But don't let unfounded fears about masturbation keep you up at night. Worrying about myths and misconceptions can lead to unnecessary stress and anxiety. It's a normal bodily function that, in and of itself, won't impact your ability to have children. Embrace the fact that your body is designed to handle this and focus on maintaining overall health and well-being. Another common concern I hear is that masturbation can weaken you, both physically and mentally. Let's break this down and explore the nuances of this topic. Physically, masturbation is a form of sexual release. And like any physical activity, it can lead to temporary feelings of fatigue. This is similar to how you might feel tired after a workout or a long run, but it doesn't inherently weaken your muscles or make you any less physically capable. In fact, the body quickly recovers from the temporary fatigue, and your overall physical strength remains unaffected. In fact, some studies suggest that regular ejaculation, whether through masturbation or intercourse, might actually have some health benefits, like reducing the risk of prostate cancer. This is because it helps in the regular expulsion of potentially harmful substances from the prostate. Mentally, the effects of masturbation are highly individual. For some, it can be a healthy way to relieve stress and tension, providing a moment of relaxation and mental clarity. For some, it can be a healthy way to relieve stress and tension. It can serve as a form of self-care, helping to manage anxiety and improve mood. For others, excessive masturbation can lead to feelings of guilt, shame, or anxiety. This often stems from societal or cultural stigmas surrounding the act, rather than the act itself. The key here is moderation and self-awareness. Understanding your own limits and ensuring that masturbation doesn't interfere with your daily responsibilities or relationships is crucial. If you feel like masturbation is negatively impacting your mental health or interfering with your daily life, it's important to seek professional help. Speaking to a counselor or therapist can provide you with strategies to manage these feelings and maintain a healthy balance. Let's talk about some of the more outlandish claims you might have heard about masturbation, like it causing hair loss or muscle loss. These are myths, plain and simple. 
Hair loss is primarily caused by genetics, hormonal changes, or underlying medical conditions. Masturbation has absolutely nothing to do with it. Similarly, muscle growth and development are influenced by diet, exercise, and hormone levels, not masturbation. These myths often stem from a place of fear and misinformation. It's important to rely on credible sources of information, like your doctor or scientific studies, rather than unfounded claims you might come across online or through word of mouth. The relationship between masturbation and prostate cancer is a complex one, and research findings have been somewhat mixed. Some studies have suggested that frequent ejaculation, whether through masturbation or intercourse, might be associated with a lower risk of prostate cancer. The theory is that regular ejaculation helps to flush out potentially harmful substances from the prostate gland. However, other studies have not found a clear link between ejaculation frequency and prostate cancer risk. It's important to note that correlation does not equal causation. Just because some studies show a correlation, it doesn't mean that one directly causes the other. More research is needed to fully understand the potential connection between masturbation and prostate cancer. While moderate masturbation is generally considered healthy, excessive masturbation can sometimes become problematic. This is often defined as masturbating to the point where it interferes with your daily life, relationships, or mental well-being. For example, if you find yourself constantly thinking about masturbation, neglecting your responsibilities, or feeling unable to control your urges, it's important to seek professional help. A therapist or counselor can help you understand the root of these behaviors and develop healthier coping mechanisms. Remember, there's no shame in seeking help. It's a sign of strength and self-awareness. The idea that women have more or less lust than men is a societal construct rather than a biological fact. Lust, or sexual desire, is influenced by a complex interplay of factors, including hormones, psychology, social conditioning, and personal experiences. Both men and women experience sexual desire, but how they express and experience it can vary greatly. It's important to remember that there's no normal level of lust or sexual desire. Everyone is different, and what's considered normal is a wide spectrum. Testosterone, the primary male sex hormone, plays a crucial role in muscle mass, bone density, and sex drive. While it's true that testosterone levels can fluctuate slightly after ejaculation, including through masturbation, these changes are generally temporary and insignificant. Your body is constantly producing testosterone, and a single instance of masturbation won't have a lasting impact on your overall testosterone levels. If you're concerned about your testosterone levels, it's important to talk to your doctor. We can run blood tests to check your hormone levels and rule out any underlying medical conditions. While masturbation doesn't significantly impact testosterone levels, there are things you can do to naturally support healthy testosterone production. First and foremost, prioritize getting enough sleep. Testosterone levels are highest in the morning after a good night's rest. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night. Regular exercise, especially resistance training, can also boost testosterone levels. Focus on compound exercises that work for multiple muscle groups like squats, deadlifts, and bench presses. Diet also plays a role. Make sure you're eating a balanced diet that includes plenty of protein, healthy fats, and zinc-rich foods. Let's put this myth to rest. Your body cannot run out of sperm from masturbating daily. Spermatogenesis, the process of sperm production, is a continuous cycle that occurs in the testes. Your body is constantly making new sperm cells, even after ejaculation. So even if you masturbate daily, your body will continue to replenish its sperm supply. Of course, there are factors that can affect sperm count and quality, such as age, overall health, and lifestyle choices. But masturbation within a healthy frequency is not one of them. Ever wonder how much semen a man produces in his lifetime? Well, get ready for some fun facts. The average ejaculation contains about a teaspoon of semen, and a man can ejaculate anywhere from a few times a week to a few times a day. Over a lifetime, that can add up to a surprising amount, roughly 7 to 10 gallons. To put that into perspective, that's about the same volume as a standard car tire. So, there you have it, a lifetime's worth of semen in a nutshell. It's a testament to the incredible capabilities of the human body. So, there you have it, the truth about masturbation, backed by science and free from shame. Remember, masturbation is a normal and healthy part of human sexuality. 
It's nothing to be ashamed of, and it doesn't inherently cause any harm. If you have any lingering questions or concerns, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments below. I'm always here to provide accurate and helpful information. And if you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let's break the stigma surrounding masturbation and promote open and honest conversations about sexual health. Thanks for watching.